With the growth of the parkour industry, you can now get an entire wardrobe made from parkour brands. From hoodies, t-shirts, socks, coats, and even one brand making underwear at one point, now is the best time to kit yourself out with the latest parkour gear. Of course, in this market, there is one thing every practitioner needs, but unfortunately, something not every brand can provide, and that's shoes. Now, we've all heard of the Stora 10s, the LeFair Pro models, the Farang Elevates, just to name a few. But there is one parkour specific shoe that is still on sale today for as low as £9.99. And that is the Free Run 720 Volt Parkour Shoe. Free Run came together as a group of friends who share similar passions towards learning and developing skills within the arts of movement, with the aim to build the world's leading parkour and free running team, providing inspiration and support towards others. That's the description that they put on their website. Since then, Free Run have kind of slipped off the radar a little bit after trying to make a dodgy Matrix fan film, but their website is still running and you are still able to go and buy products from their online store. I'm just gonna lay the foundations of the Free Run parkour and free running shoes in this video. If you do want to see a separate video of me discussing more parkour shoes in the future, then then please leave a comment down below. But just for time and quality of the video, I'm just gonna focus on the free run shoes. The 720 volts were the second shoe to come out from free run. This was the evolution of their first shoe, which was the 360 volt, which took very heavy inspiration from the most popular shoe for parkour at the time, which was the Kalenji success. The free run 720 volts were announced in the summer of 2013 on the free run blog post, and they were marketed as kind of an upgrade from the original free run shoe. These shoes again were based off of another Kalenji shoe, this time being the Academic. 50, which at this point was the most popular shoe that people were wearing for parkour. It was also my first parkour shoe. In their blog post announcing the 720 volts, Freerun went on to say, Freerun have paid super close attention to every element that makes up the perfect parkour shoe. They must be light, super flexible, built to last and have amazing grip and not forgetting, look incredible. The 720 volts, I'm sure you will agree, ticks all of those boxes. I kind of wanted to know a little bit more about what went into designing the 720 volt shoe. I reached out to Chase Armitage on Instagram, who is one of the guys behind Free Run, and this is what he had to say. It was our second go at making a trainer. We started with the 360. It went from sketch to product fairly easily. We just wanted something lightweight and hard wearing that could be good for tricking moves on hard floors as well as parkour jumps. We were limited to what sole we could use on both trainers, so we went for the best option available. We're actually looking to work on a new trainer this year and we are aiming to have this one exactly how we want it without any compromise. And I think what Chase said in that message kind of says a lot about the shoe. Free run, especially in kind of the early 2010s to kind of mid 2010s, definitely became more of a performance and stunt based team as opposed to the parkour teams that we know today. And this is a shoe that definitely to me looked like it was made a lot more to benefit the performance side of parkour as opposed to the general training. This is essentially a shoe designed by the free run guys for the free run guys. So with all this in mind, I have picked up a pair of the free run 720 volts to try myself and I'm going to let you guys know my thoughts. So let's cut to the training session. So here I've got my pair of the free run 720 volts. I've only worn them outside once about a year ago. So I'm going to put them on and put them through their paces and see if, if they're worth it. Bad thing, but that rail is incredibly wobbly. So my friend Morgan comes to this spot quite a bit and does loads of like twisty little movements and it's kind of inspired me to come here and have a play whilst testing out these new shoes. So one thing to note so far about the shoes is the fit. I'm a size 10, so I bought a size 10 shoe and these fit more like a nine. So they're definitely a little bit more of a snug fit than what I would typically like. They may stretch over time. Like I said, this is only really the first session that I've really put them through their paces. Just from doing like a couple of like lower impact stuff just now, the shoe is okay impact wise. Like I haven't done any 
massive drops or precisions or anything like that in them yet but so far the shoes held up really well the shoe does have a very like thick heel uh, and like a relative amount of padding uh, it's not the thickest shoe that I've ever trained with. I think it's slightly less thick than the Stora 10s, um, but it does seem to do the job with, with training. Let's not forget here that Free Run are a performance team. They're going to need to be taking impacts. They seem to have almost built a shoe that's got the kind of impact in mind. One of the most iconic Red Hill gaps. It's got to be done. For the first impact you jump on these shoes, they actually hold up really well. The shoes are cushioned enough that you still feel the landing, but you don't get like an overwhelming amount going through your legs, which is really nice. So they're definitely a shoe with impact in mind, which being a performance shoe does make sense. So far, these shoes have been very good, surprisingly, for kind of the 9.99 price point and originally retailing at about 40 pounds. These shoes are just holding up really well. They kind of remind me of a shoe that I used to train in called a Puma Future. They still feel a little bit tight on the foot. Uh, my feet are starting to get like a little bit cramped on the inside. However, they've actually held up surprisingly well with cat leaps. Kongs, step vaults, all of that sort of stuff. It's just performing well as a shoe. Oh, there we go. If we just have a look at a, a few more details of the shoe whilst we're here. Uh, one thing to note is this kind of like, it's meshy at the top here, so you could very easily poke your toe through. However, it is reinforced nearer the front. So this kind of like meshy area here, if this had kind of curled around the top like the Farang shoe, then it may be a little bit different. The shoe itself comes with black laces and I put white on them. And I don't actually think that's outrageous. I definitely prefer the white laces to the black. Uh, already my inner sole is starting to peel away. So that's, Again, just an aesthetic thing. So the shoe does have a removable inner sole as well. Uh, slightly more padding here. I'm not sure if you can see that, but that's nice and nice and thick. It's definitely got heel support in mind. There isn't much padding kind of around the ball of the foot, which, which is something to note as well. Oh yeah, lovely. So that was an outdoor test of the free run 720 volt so overall impressions of the shoe are for its time it was probably quite progressional i mean the sizing of the shoe is a little bit off like i said i am a size 10 these definitely feel like a size 9 and even wearing them training all day they didn't really stretch out that much the durability isn't something that we're going to be talking about here because everyone does train differently see the harder you train the less likely your shoes are going to hold up over time However, impact wise, the shoe is really, really good. It didn't have any impact problems. The cushioning is really, really nice as well. The inner sole, I feel like adds to that. The removable inner sole with the padding in the heel just makes it, makes it perfect. Shoe is also incredibly lightweight as well. It feels very light on the foot. 
which is nice. So yeah, I would thoroughly recommend going to pick up a pair of these whilst they're still on sale for the low price of $9.99. It just seems stupid not to. You're gonna get use out of the shoe. Even if you're struggling for cash a little bit and you can't quite afford the shoes that you normally do train in, just pick up a pair of these as a backup. They don't look outrageously bad. Uh, you can maybe paint over some of the bits that you don't like if you really want to. <laughs> if you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be <laughs> notified. Every Turn the notifications on. on. Yeah, do it. Thank you to Joe and Blake from Proven Culture Did for nothing. helping out with this video. Absolute jack shit. Absolutely nothing. Did nothing. <laughs> if you do want to support them, you can click the link in the description to visit the Proven channel. Also visit 360 Clothing and use the code PROVEN yes, sir. for 20% off. And for 72 hours after this video uploads, you can get 30% off the Contendent store by using the code PROVEN. Big ops. Go check get it out. Clothes. I'm getting some. Yeah, facts. Follow all the links in the description. And yeah, we will catch you in the next one. Thank you. Skr